Hello, thank you for joining me for day number 63 of 365 days of public speaking. My name is Lana Yamentu. Today I'd like to speak to you about practicing your gestures. One important or very huge crucial part of your presentation on stage, if you do have full use of your arms and your legs, is to be able to use your body effectively to help in carrying your message across to your audience. A few opportunities are there every single day should I say a lot of opportunities are there every single day for you to practice how you use your body to communicate. An example would be when you are asked for directions, for example, you can use your body effectively to direct the person to whatever it is that he is going and that gives you the ability to add gestures when you are speaking to your verbal communication. Another opportunity that you do have to practice is basically when you are asked for answers that involve specific numbers, use your hands to show the numbers and make sure that your communication comes across to the other person. Because for example, if you do get into an office and you are asked for how many sugars you want in your coffee, or for example, if you have to tell someone that is within your visual uh, periphery to, to uh, give you a number or ask you to give him or her a number, you can basically use your fingers and and, <laughs> and that will help you in practicing your body language on a daily basis. Another also very key things that key thing you can do is to get the sign language manual. A lot of the languages used by people speaking the sign language are everyday languages or everyday signs that we use for communicating. Being aware of those signs is also going to help you with your communication from the platform. As I remember a speech I saw by one of the world champion, one of the winners of the world championship of public speaking by Toastmasters International, and he concluded his speech with a visual sign, with a verbal, non-verbal sign that was really effective because everyone could remember that. Those are the few ways that you can use to practice your gestures when you do have to give presentation or to help you improve how you speak in public. Thank you so much for being with me today and I'll see you again tomorrow.